Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Talk Nerdy to Me podcast. I'm your host, Justin Hayward. And to start off this episode, I wanted to say thank you to all the listeners of the show and viewers and listeners of the other content for the uh, that I've created for the channel. If you managed to hear this episode, it means that you've either decided to stick with us through the long hiatus that I undertook for the past few months, or you're a new listener, so welcome in. During the hiatus, I had a few things happen, including graduating from college, which took a lot of my time to ensure that I could finish up, but also I think that I needed to take a break from making content. As a creator, I think the others who do this type of work might agree. When you begin this journey, you don't think about the long amounts of work that will be needed to keep up with the content at the scale you originally commit to. To make a normal life, have school, work, and just do content is a full schedule I just couldn't commit to. I think that while the break gave me what I needed, also showed me what I missed, which was making content I enjoyed and focusing on getting back to the reason I started doing the content in the first place as a way to get ideas and words out through this podcast, or hanging out with my friends and just showing others a snapshot into lives the fun that we're sharing through our nerdy experiences. I think oftentimes when we start thinking about the variables associated with the nerd culture, there's this sort of nuance that everyone here is the same, but we're not. We're so different and diverse. And each of us showcases a different interest or specific area of study that we focus and dedicate our lives to. And this becomes sort of like our nuance. And for my podcast, I'm focusing on a variety of different content and creation. And so I really wanted to showcase that everyone can find a community within this sort of format. Now that I've gotten that all the way, let's talk about how hiatuses have played a role in the nerd culture. Throughout history, hiatuses have played roles in several fan favorite projects and have had notoriously long term breaks or even complete stops. In the anime world, there is no hiatus greater known than the Hunter x Hunter hiatus. Some people were even referring to it as hiatus x hiatus. Having stopped airing nearly three years ago, or the manga four years ago. The main reason for this sort of hiatus though, uh, for those of you who don't know, is the creator Yoshishiro uh, Tagashi has had back injuries due to his long run as a historical manga artist and the damage that it put on his body. I mean, this man's been making content for decades now. I mean, he started off Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter, and he's done so many different projects where you're just you can understand uh, the variables that he's gone through through his sort of time frame. When we start moving into other realms of sort of hiatuses and how those play into the world, you can start looking at like television, for example. And I think a show that I always think about when I think about a hiatus that sort of had an impact was the uh, show Heroes from NBC. You know, it started off as one of the highest ranking shows that ever aired during that time frame, and yet whenever they had the 2007 uh, writer's block, completely stopped production. And it caused a lot of ongoing issues that I think actually led to the show's failure only like, what, five years later? And I think the reason is because they were constantly running behind and trying to keep up with the demand after such a long break, but it ended up showcasing that their story couldn't keep up. And so I think a lot of things fell off. I think there's a lot of products in our history that sh have shown that where People sort of rushed a product in order to kind of just get it out there because they have other things going on or et cetera, et cetera. I think Game of Thrones was a really great example of that where everyone sort of universally decided that we all hate the last season of that show. And it's understandable given the uh, sort of complexities within that realm. I think that while hiatuses can take away some of the magic you once had, the sort of lightning in a bottle, or as it were, I think that there's a lot of shows that have gotten away from these hiatuses and have actually improved. I think one of the greatest examples is probably from our British friends in the Doctor Who world, where when the show began, it began in 1963. And yet, it suddenly got a hiatus and forced cancellation in 1989. But it came back 16 years later in 2005. And it's continued to run, giving us a plethora of new doctors along the way. So much like the good doctor, I would like to get into my Taurus and complete on this journey as we push to make new podcast content each week. Upcoming, we have some new projects, including a new D&D campaign called Monster Manual. If you follow me on TikTok, uh, which is uh, Resources to Gathering, you'll be able to see the teaser I put together for that sort of content. Uh, a little bit of background knowledge on it. It's a D&D campaign inspired from Pokemon, one of my favorite childhood shows. But I'm using the Monster Manual from D&D as my reference point to use as my Pokemon. So rather than fighting Squirtle or whatever, you're fighting a Tarrasque, 
eventually. And each of them has their own unique types, which is associated with a power scale of pros and cons where they get advantage or disadvantage against other monsters. I really wanted to do something sort of unique and different. My friends have kind of been playing this off screen for a little while now and they've seemed to love it. So we decided to bring it full force onto a channel dedicated to D&D. Other things we're looking to do is, you know, just making more content within our magic community. Um, we might be taking a few more steps towards that in the near future, but I think for right now, what I want to do is I want to focus on keeping the projects that I love and not committing to too many projects at the same time in order to ensure that my listeners, you at home, can continue to have great content. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope to see you guys next time on the Talk Nerdy to Me podcast.